A woman's squish factor, as I like to refer to it, depends a lot on her, um, on her body shape already. You know, you can have a woman who has a 24-inch waist and can't compress at all because she's a ballerina or she's a swimmer and she's all muscle. You might, on the other hand, have a woman who ha naturally has, you know, a 35-inch waist and is all squish, and there's so much room to move her in that you can bring her down to 26 inches, you know, almost the same as the other girl, and it's a totally different shape. All right, let's try it. My name is Angela Friedman, um, and I am a freelance corset maker in New York City. In a measurement fitting, you can actually figure out how much squish a woman has. You can actually pull on her waist and see what's comfortable for her, what's too much, how much you can pull out of her. Woo. <laughs> Just let me know if I pull too hard. Okay. You really have to know what you're doing so that you make sure that you can put someone in a garment that's comfortable, that fits them well, that can achieve, you know, a beautiful streamlined hourglass shape without actually, you know, crushing their ribs or their organs. <gasps> there you go. Whoa. You want to see it in my Oh my god. What? I can't believe that's <laughs> my body. It absolutely is. You know, part of the beauty of corsets is that they look good on everybody. No matter what your body shape is, it'll still look awesomer <laughs> when you put it in a corset. The whole issue right now with custom clothing is that people are kind of forgetting what it takes, how much work, how much experience goes into making a custom garment, and the same thing with corsets that goes into making a corset, that they don't necessarily realize, um, you know, how, how special that is. And that's kind of part of the difficulty that we live in this, you know, Walmart society where people go and buy something and it's dispensable and clothes don't necessarily mean something of importance to people like they used to 100 years ago or more. I actually have no idea um, if there's a specific number of how many corset makers there are in my area, in New York City, um, in, you know, on the East Coast or in the country. So far as around this area at least, I don't really know any other corset makers. Pretty recently, I think that corsets have kind of come back into the fashion sphere as really a, a valid, important fashion item. I think that for a while they were kind of like a taboo subject because people associate corsets with sexuality or with, you know, female oppression or all these other kind of iffy topics. So you're seeing corsets on the runways all the time now. That's kind of a new, a new trend that's happening again that we haven't really seen since like this since, you know, the 40s and 50s.